Let's play. Looks like it's sweeping time. Gotta sweep, sweep, sweep. Will you marry me? Gotta sweep, sweep, sweep. Gotta sweep, 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 sweep. Hello everybody, my name is Tommy, I am a mask and puppet maker, and in this video, we will not be making a puppet or a mask. Instead, we're making a broom. Gotta sweep, a baldy's basics. Welcome to Tommy's Puppet Lab. Enjoy the show. Before we get started with this tutorial, I just want to cover some safety. Knives and scissors are very sharp and pointy, so please get an adult to help you. Always cut away from yourself, never towards yourself. And that includes your fingers. When using hot glue, always wear gloves to protect yourself from burns. Never touch the tip, so please be very careful with this. And I highly recommend adult supervision. Alright, let's start. Alright, so in this video we will be making Gotta Sweep. So you will need some cardboard. So you're going to cut out a, a uh, cardboard square and we're going to fold it. And we're actually going to wrap it around each other. We're going to wrap it around the ends together. And you should have something that looks like this. You want just a little bit of space here. Okay, so we have this part. I'm just gonna stack something smaller on top to make it look more like a broom. I'm gonna take another cardboard square and we're gonna do the same thing. So here's what the other piece should look like. I'm gonna take that on top of here. Okay, and you should have something that looks like this. Now we need to make the handle. We're going to take another sheet of cardboard, and when you're rolling this, you want to roll with, if you see the lines on the cardboard here, this is actually, here, this is the corrugation here. You want to roll with it, not against it. We're going to roll this into a, into a tube. And that's your handle. Once we glue it onto here. There we go. That's starting to look like a broom already. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to cover this in paper mache. So you all need to mix one part glue, one part water. And I use white glue. Okay, I've already done that. So we're going to take a paintbrush and we're going to brush on the surface area. Now you're going to take some tissue paper or toilet paper. I use toilet paper because it's cheap and it works really well. And you're going to cover the wet surface area. Now you're going to brush glue on top of the tissue like I am right now. Now you're going to take some more tissue paper and put more over on top and brush glue on top again. Keep doing this until you have about two or three layers, okay? Okay, so now we are going to be using some hot glue. So please wear gloves when you're handling hot glue. I'm using a low heat glue gun and I'm going to glue the handle onto here. So we're just going to glue it right in the center. And you see right where I glued, I covered it in paper mache just to make sure it stays on and remains sturdy. 
All right, so let's start painting. Okay, everybody. It's time to start painting, and the only colors we're going to need is white and green. I'm going to paint the handle green and, of course, the broom head white. So let's get started. Looks like it's painting time! Okay, so next thing we need to do is we need to add the bristles. So, I'm going to be using construction paper for that. Colorful paper, isn't it? So we're going to be needing some green construction paper and gray. And then of course we're going to be needing a hot glue gun. So we're going to be cutting some small squares. Depending how long you want the bristles to be, but I'm just going to cut some small squares here. And only a small portion of this brush is actually green, not all of it. So what we're going to do is we're going to take, I cut about five, I cut five squares. Now what we're going to do is we're going to cut some small small slits here, but we're not going to cut it right off. We have something that looks like this on all of them. So what we're, we are going to do next, we're going to just going to fold the top here right where we did not cut and we're going to glue them right on here on the same row. I'm going to start on the bottom row just so that you can see what I'm doing. So we're going to need some gloves because I will be using a hot glue gun. You can definitely use white glue if you don't want to be using hot glue. Alright, let's get glue in. I'm going to need one more. Actually, I'm going to make two more. And this is what you should have so far. So I'm going to go get the gray construction paper and finish this off. So I use seven pieces of, of construction paper like this. So now they all have bristles like a real broom. Okay, so I did not have any gray construction paper. So what I did is I took some white construction paper and I painted it a very light gray color. So that's something you can do. So now this paper is dry and we're going to start adding it to the broom head. So we're going to do the exact same thing as we did with the green, except we're going to make it just a little bit longer. We want it to actually fit the rest of this broom head. Okay, now I'm going to attach them the same way we, we attached the green strips. So there's your gray. Gloves on, no burns. And that's what you should have. Looks like it's sweeping time! Gotta sweep, sweep, sweep! Let's see if it actually works. Ah, look at that. Brushed away all this construction paper. <laughs> this is so cool! Alright, so let's try out sweeping time. Oh, this is backwards. Let's try them out. Looks like it's sweeping time! Wow, not too bad, eh? No. There's actually a bit of yellow tape on here. So I'm going to be using some yellow construction paper. You know this construction paper is, has really come handy lately. Been using it a lot. 
Instead of using yellow tape, I'm just going to use yellow construction paper just to keep it all consistent with the whole paper craft. There, like that. I'm going to put some hot glue on that. Okay, so now I'm just looking at the picture here and it looks like it's got a little bit more little red spot right here, a little red sticker. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. I might as well just detail it to the fullest. So I'm going to take some red construction paper, like that. I'm just going to glue it right here. And there's just a white square right here. Need some construction paper, paper, paper! Looks like it's sweeping time! I just love that. Gotta sweep, sweep, sweep! I'm just gonna glue a piece of white paper right here. And that will be it. There we go. All right, so now I'm just gonna put my signature on the back of the broom. There we go. Sweep and gotta sweep is all finished. All right, so let's put our new creation to the test. I'm gonna clean up the mess that I made using just the broom that I made. Will a paper broom sweep this up? Let's find out. Gotta sweep, sweep, sweep! It works! Not too bad. Not too bad. I like it. I like it a lot. And just like that, you now know how to make Gotta Sweep. Now that you have a broom, go clean up your room. <laughs> and be sure to check out my other crafts that I made from Baldi Basics, including a mask of Baldi, Principal of the Thing, even first prize, a puppet of meals, playtime that actually skips, and even arts and crafters, a soft puppet. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye. Take one hand and put these two fingers together. Put your pinky on top, and grab your pinky with your index finger. And you just made yourself a puppet friend.